Hello everyone, and welcome back. I went up to the store a couple days ago and bought some beef melt, and uh, I got it thawed out and everything, so now I'm going to cut up a few chunks, and if you guys watched the videos last year when I was down here in Louisiana, went up to that one bridge and let the line sit out, and I caught that nice blue catfish, and I got a few other ones also. So I'm going to get a few pieces cut up right now, we're going to run out there, we'll set the lines, and then we can just sit there and we'll go back and check them and see if we catch any catfish. Uh, I cut some chunks maybe about this big for the catfish. I'm thinking I'm going to check it out. I want to, uh, right in there is where I crawfish also, so I'm going to check and see how the water is. Maybe we'll throw one trap out since I'm licensed for all that now and see um, see if there's anything out there. It's been, it's been kind of chilly, so I don't know how they'll be, but there we go. Four for that, and I'll just save this for crawfish, and all this can go back into the refrigerator. Just brought in my fish and tackle box that we use down here. I haven't been in here for a year now, so I'm gonna see if I even have any of these, uh, my little popper setups here. There's one. Trot line, I'd sure like to set that. Oh, looks like I got a couple here anyway. I'll get these dug out. All right, well I had two in the fishing tackle box here. And I remembered that I had stuffed one of these in the door of my truck last year when I left here because it wasn't in here. So I went out there and yep, it was there. So I'm going to set this one up so at least we'll have three. I just talked to those guys when I was checking in. They do this every year. He said they paddle up the river about 10 miles. That's a long way. And then they camp out there for about three days. Looks like the tide is going out. All right, well, I'll get some of this beef melt, put on some hooks. Wish I had some venison liver, but this stuff does work good too. Well, we have those three set. I think I'll drive down to the end and see what the water looks like down there. We'll come back later and check our lines.
everyone. It's a beautiful morning here in Louisiana. A little after 8 o'clock in the morning. 43 degrees, going up to 70 today. We're going to go out and check those lines. Oh, we got one on there. I don't see the bobber on this one, but that doesn't mean... Nope, still some bait there. Doesn't look like any action on this one. Oh, it's caught on a log though. Well, we got one. I'll get this fish off and we'll uh, get it rebaited. I just pulled the other one, it took the hook right off of it when it hooked on that log. Just a little one, be good eating though. All right, there we go. She's baited up and back in there. This is my the best side. Every last year too. Every time I come out here, this is the side I'll get them on, versus the other side. Okay, everyone. Well, we caught one. Come back this afternoon and check them again. Well, we have about an hour before dark and I'm going to go out and check those two lines. I did go to the store and buy a bunch more of those little, I think they're called poppers, the little bobber things. I uh, just didn't have any time to set them up today. I've been busy doing other stuff, but let's go out there and see if we caught anything. on that one. All right, well nothing tonight, but we'll be back out there tomorrow morning. It's the next day, kind of a warm foggy morning here. Highs are going to get into the upper 60s today, but tomorrow I think the high is only in the 40s, so it's going to get chilly. Let's go out and check those lines. Well, there's the bobber. I don't know. Oh, nothing on that one, but it got wrapped around. I better get that unhooked. I don't see any movement on that one either. No, well, nothing on that one. Nothing on that one either. We'll be back later tonight. check these lines and we're going to be quick about it because right now Baton Rouge is behind me, New Orleans is in front of me, and that rain line as you saw just back on the last cliff is right behind me. So 
we're gonna get up there, check those lines, get signed out of the wildlife management area, and uh, then the storm is gonna come through. It's 69 degrees right now, cold front comes through, and we're supposed to get down to 30 tonight. Nope, nothing on that one. That tide is going out. You can see way down at the end of the river there, I can't see the trees, that's the rain. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> has already dropped from 69 to 57. It's only been about three miles. Good morning, everybody. The rain has stopped. Uh, temperature dropped down last night to 30 degrees. It's 34 right now with the wind chill of 23. I actually put on my one pair of long johns I brought down here with me. <laughs> it's gonna act like Minnesota. I'm gonna dress like Minnesota go out there and check these lines, see if anything is on them. Nope, nothing on that one, so we're going to change that bait. Nothing on that one. I think we're going to change the bait and move it down there where the water is a little calmer. There we go. Nice bloody piece of beef melt on there. Get this thrown in. See what happens. We'll come back this afternoon and check them again. Okay everyone, we're back out to check the lines. See if anything happened with that nice fresh bait on there. Nothing on that one. Looks like it's in the same place we put it before. Nothing there either. Alright, we'll be back tomorrow. We are back again to check the lines. Well, I don't see my bobber. Kind of caught underneath that log. Just a second. Looks like a nice little eater. Kind of the same size as that other one I got. Maybe a little smaller. Number two. All right, there it is. One more chunk of catfish. All right, everyone. Well, just caught the one fish. Nothing was on the other line. Now I'm, I, but it broke the hook. So I am going to put this on there. This is filled up with some stinky, ugly crap. And then I got one of these little baits on here too. Throw that in instead because I didn't bring out any more beef melt today. All right, well that's two. We'll be out this afternoon to check these again. We are back again to check the lines. Doesn't seem to be moving.
Nope, nothing on that one either. We'll be back in the morning. Well, I don't see that bobber moving. Oh, look at that. Ripped it right off. Wow. What I did down here is I just took this one off because that was broke. And I'd really like to catch the fish that are breaking those. That's the second one, I think, now. And I replaced it with a new one and a piece of beef melt on there. Water is nice and calm right now. Maybe tomorrow morning something will show up. Well, that one caught a log. <laughs> I'll get that unwrapped and we'll get this pulled. Nope, nothing there. All right, guys, I'm going to pull this, and like I said, we'll come back out in a couple days when it gets warmer out and set these out again. Thanks a lot for watching.